The Battle Mage is a beloved class without equal. A solid melee fighter combined with the mastery of several schools of magic and the skill to boost both damage output and survivability with alchemical concoctions, Ordinator has some awesome perks that really let this build shine. Combat was an exciting mix of conjured minions, balls of fire, and a constantly poisoned swinging axe of death. The Battle Mage is part of a small group of elite warriors. Born from the ashes of the Crown and Forebear factions after the Great War, these Battle Mages are tasked with undermining Aldmeri activities throughout the Empire. Though officially no longer part of said Empire, the Red Guards of Hammerfell are no fools. They know that the Thalmor are regrouping at home while at the same time manipulating the political and economic situation in all of the Empire's provinces. It's only a matter of time before another war comes upon all of Tamriel once again, and they would prefer not to find themselves surrounded by a conquered and controlled former ally. I went with a simple retexture of the Archmage's robes from the College of Winterhold and an ebony war axe. Now let's take a look at the perks that I've chosen for the Battle Mage, starting with Destruction. I picked up both points in Destruction ma Mastery because there's really no reason not to get the reduced Magicka and increased damage. I also picked up Force of Nature, Robe of the Magi, and Elemental Specialization, which is specialized in Fire Magic as well as two points in combustion, scarring burns, and flash fire. All these perks basically just increase your damage output for fire damage, and so with all of this, my just the simple firebolt spell was doing 70 points of damage, plus the extra fire, burn, the, the burning damage, plus the possibility of igniting the target and creating a ball of fire underneath them for only 10 points of magicka. So it's really powerful. Next up we got Conjuration. Now it's important as the Battle Mage because the Battle Mage is a fairly melee um, melee focused character because you, you want to be hitting people with, uh, with your axe or, or mace or whatever. So you want to have some conjured minions to distract the enemies and deal extra damage. So I once again took Conjuration Mastery 2 out of 2, Plain Meld, Atromancy, 
Edge of, Obl of Oblivion, which is interesting because you get an extra minion and they last 50% longer. Uh, but when you don't have a minion, so if all your minions die, for example, in combat, then you lose 250 points of armor and 50 magic resistance. So it's really dangerous to lose your minions in the middle of combat. You can make up for that, though, by having lots of them. I also picked up pack, m Packed Magic so that destruction spells are more effective when I'm with my Daedra. So if I've got Daedra within 30 feet of me, I do an extra... My my Fire Magic does an extra 15 15% of damage. I also got Maelstrom so that when I'm concentrating or charging a spell, my Daedra do extra damage. Elemental Potency just makes your Atronax more powerful. Unleash Hell gives your Daedra extra abilities. So uh, if they're within 75 feet of you, they get a, a spell on a 30 second cooldown. Flame Atronax get Fire Explosion. Frost Atronax get Reduced Armor and Magic Resistance Curse. Uh, Storm Atronax get Magnetic Knockdown. And Dremora get increased attack damage and movement speed. So you probably saw during part of the gameplay that uh, some of my Daedra are like just running around like maniacs. That's because of that. Uh, we also have Daedra's Dew, which I never used. You can use it to set permanently sacrifice health in, in order to buy perk points, which is kind of interesting, but like I said, I didn't use it. I just used it so I could get to March of Oblivion, which gives you an additional summon for each, uh, an additional summon plus another summon for every 250 points of base magicka. So I was able to, in the end, conjure uh, four Atronax at once. All right, moving on to Alteration, which is your only defensive uh, ability because you don't wear any armor. So uh, Alteration Mastery Toto 2, Alteration dual casting so that my flesh spells would stay active for longer. 3 out of 3 for mage armor. I also picked up spell blade which increases the your attack damage when you cast a spell in one hand, which is appropriate for a battle mage. And I took uh, alter self resistances. I gave myself resistance to fire because it's a pain in the butt. And um, shock, so that I don't lose Magicka. Uh, we also got one-handed, which of course is very important for a battle mage. So I took two points in Mastery, one in Furious Strength, Disciplined Fighter, and two points in Bleed Like a Lamb. Now I would have liked to have spent more points in there, but as usual with uh, Ordinator, there's just not enough perk points to go around with the skills. So my damage with the axe was not quite as much as I would have liked, but it was still, you know, reasonably potent. And finally, we've got alchemy, which I never really even realized until I played, until I took a look at this build that battle mages use a lot of alchemy. So this was really interesting. I took, um, the mastery, which just makes your potions and poisons more powerful. I also took physician, and in this case, I use I chose health potions, so they get an extra 50% strength. Uh, and you'll see why I took physician in just a minute. But first, let's talk about poison. So I took poisoner, which increases the damage or the uh, it makes your poisons more powerful, and bottomless cup. So for every point, or every 10 levels of alchemy, and of course I went to 100, my poisons last for an extra hit. So I got like 11 hits per application of poison. I also took stimulants, so that when you're under the ban beneficial effect of a potion, which in the case of my playthrough I was always using health potions for it, you also regenerate 2.2% 2 .2 of your magic and stamina for every second for 30 seconds. And finally, Crimson Haze, so that when you are under the effect of stimulants, which in this case health, so of course your, your health is down, so you take a health potion, you also get an extra 10% in 
movement speed. And that's it.